Yeah, so yeah, they're all alive. They just need to get into some water. This guy still has his egg tooth. This one too. You guys wanna see him? If you look at them, they have blue eyes. Mm. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Good training. This here is Ame. She was the smallest of the females that came in. She still is the smallest. She's about four and a half inches now but her shell looks great a little speckly but uh very smooth no flaring she's been growing the slowest which is the best go ahead go ahead This here is Haku. He's my one male. He was temp sexed male, and he did turn out to be male. I thought he had shell rot at one point, but uh, I don't think it's shell rot. I think it's just how his shell's developing, speckily. He's about four and a half inches now. Go ahead. Swim away, boy. Swim. Swim. They like to do this sometimes. There you go. This here is Yuki. She was the second biggest in the four that I got at the time. But she has grown to be the biggest hurdle that I own. She is about six and a half inches right now. But extremely friendly. No hissing, no biting. She doesn't even scratch me like Mizu does. She's gotten big. I can't wait till she gets double this size. I'm sure she'll be a good breeder in the time. Go ahead. Swim off. She just wants to sit in my hand. This here is Mizu. She was the lightest colored baby and the biggest baby when I first got her. She has a... Uh, she's about six inches right now. But she has that paradox eye. It's light blue. It looks awesome. Go ahead. She doesn't like me that much, but she will never bite me. She just, uh, doesn't like to be handled. And they all live together in my 325 gallon tank. With my albinos. So, we can see, there's Haku there, his long nails, then there's, that's Yuki back there, behind the leaves, and then Mizu's right next to her, oh, she's coming up, and Ame. It's always hard finding Ame because she hides a lot. She's over here. Along with Maho.